Whatever logo this lands on, I'm gonna give it a holiday redesign. Okay, what are we gonna get? Fanta! Okay, wait, I have a perfect idea. Okay, so first and foremost, I'm thinking we have to change this to an S, so it says Santa. Okay, taking the pen tool, I'm just gonna trace around this and make it look like an S. Here's what we're working with. So I wanna make the bottom part red to look like Santa's suit. And then for the top part, I'm thinking we make it like a skin color and we make the leaf be his beard. So I'm just gonna color that in and then make the beard be white. I wanna add in a tiny little face up here so that it looks like his beard and add on some fluff down here to look like Santa's suit. Lastly, I just wanna add on a hat and here is the final result. I love how this one turned out. The name is so perfect and I think the little Santa is so cute with the little beard. Let me know what you think in the comments. Whatever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna Gonna give it a holiday redesign. Okay, what are we gonna get? <gasps> Frosted flakes! Okay, wait, frosty flakes? <laughs> Let's go. Okay, I decided I'm gonna do the whole box because I think that'll be a little more impactful. So what we need to do is make this say frosty and then I'm gonna take out Tony the Tiger and replace it with Frosty the Snowman and maybe give him tiger stripes. Okay, first thing I need to do is attempt to remove all the letters after the T. Okay, I added in a Y. Now I need to skew it up and back like this. Now using the pen tool, I need to trace out Tony. Okay, I've got it all selected. Now I'm gonna add a blue gradient to it. Whoa, that worked perfect. Okay, I found this image of Frosty online and I'm just gonna bring it in right here. Oh my gosh. Okay, the last thing I wanna do is with the pen tool, add on tiger stripes and here's the final result. This one is a little ominous, a little creepy, but I could see them maybe doing some kind of collab like this in the future. Let me know what you think in the comments. Whatever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a holiday redesign. Okay, what are we gonna get? Junior Mints. Okay, let's go. Okay, I think what we're gonna have to do is call it Orna Mints. So I'm gonna need to find a similar font to that and then I'm gonna try to recreate the little mints down here, the style, but with ornaments. Okay, so first what I need to do is get rid of the word Junior. Okay, I found a similar font called Gotham Black. Now I'm just gonna type out Orna and I'm gonna skew it to match how it looks in the original. I added a white stroke around it. Now I need to add a green one and make it a little smaller. Now I need to make some ornaments in the style of those mints. They've got these extra little layers in them to add depth, so I'm gonna do that with the ornament. Okay, I've got the first one made. I'm gonna move it right there. I added a second one, and now I'm just gonna add a shadow to it. I found this ornament topper online. I'm just gonna place it here, and here's the final result. This turned out so cute. I can't believe the name worked so well with Orna Mint. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whatever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a holiday redesign. Okay, what are we gonna get? Minecraft! Okay, here we go. I'm thinking we name it Pinecraft and maybe make it all look like it's made out of wood and maybe even throw in a Christmas tree somewhere in here. The first step is we need to get rid of this M. Okay, I've got that removed. Now I'm gonna add on the P. Now we need to make all of it a brown wood tone. I'm just gonna start drawing on the shape of where I think I want the tree to go and color it in. Now I'm gonna add on a star to the top as well as a couple little tree details. Okay, I've got that done. Now the last thing is I wanna add on a bunch of little wood grain details to each of these letters. All right, I'm gonna finish up with all the letters and here's the final result. I love, love, love how this turned out. The wood grain is so cute. Shout out to my sixth grade art teacher who made us draw wood grain on the desk when we were drawing still lifes. But anyway, let me know what you think of this logo in the comments. Whatever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a holiday redesign. Okay, what are we gonna get? Pringles. Okay, wait, I have the perfect idea. Okay, here's what we're working with. I could make it say Jingles, but I'm thinking I actually make it say Kringles, like Kris Kringle and make it be a Santa Claus. The main thing I'm thinking with it is that I want the mustache to be white. So what we're gonna have to do is turn this white part into some skin tone and then 
turn the mustache white because Santa, I feel like, always has a white beard. So to start, I'm gonna get rid of like the right half of this P. Then I'm gonna draw in where I think the K would go and clean it up a little bit. Now I'm gonna give Santa a skin color because we have to make the beard white. Let's color that in. Now for the Santa hat, I'm gonna draw the white part right here. Pick up the red from back here and draw this little part and here's the final result. I love how this little Kringle, Kris Kringle turned out. I think it is the perfect blend of cute and existing logo and Santa and I just wish it was real. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whatever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a holiday redesign. Okay, what are we gonna get? <sighs> Roblox! Okay, let's go. Okay, and my head Roblox was red, but I guess it's actually black now. But my idea is to call it Snow Blocks and make it look like snow has fallen on it. So that might be better for it being black anyway. Okay, I went ahead and found a font very similar and typed out snow. I'm just gonna bring it down here. And my idea is to make it kind of like the icy logo and add snow covering each of the letters. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this layer be kind of transparent so that I can use a black pen tool to add on all the snow. That way when you fill them in, it looks like snow. Now I just need to fill all of them in and here is the final result. I love, love, love how this turned out. It actually kind of looks like the icy logo a little bit with the snow cover on the top, but it turned out so cute and I love the name. Let me know what you think about it in the comments and give me more ideas for holiday logos. Whatever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a holiday redesign. Okay, what are we gonna get? RuPaul's Drag Race. Okay, let's go. So what I'm thinking is cutting this and flipping it to make it a D and then spelling out O-L-F and changing all the colors and maybe adding in a reindeer element somewhere. Okay, I isolated the letters I want and now I'm just gonna take out the P, turn it upside down. So I found the font, it's called Broadway. Typed out O-L-F and now I'm gonna change it to Broadway. Now I need to skew these. Perfect. Now I need to add back on these highlights. And using the pen tool, I'm gonna redraw the shadow that's behind all of it. Okay, I've got it all done. Now I'm gonna change the colors to make it a little more Christmassy. Okay, I've got that done. Last, I wanna add a little Rudolph nose and antlers and here is the final result. I love how this one turned out. The name is so funny. The color combination and the little Rudolph, it's just perfect. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whatever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a holiday redesign. Okay, what are we gonna get? Sprite. Ugh, I don't know, I'm gonna have to come up with something really creative for this one. Okay, I'm thinking for this one, we call it lights and we make this kind of outer border thing look like a bunch of Christmas lights. So to start, I'm gonna get rid of these extra letters here. And I'm gonna move it to the middle. Okay, I've got it how I like it. Now I'm gonna add all these little green like plugs all around it. And then behind that layer, I'm gonna add these cute little lights. And with the airbrush tool, I'm gonna add slight highlights. So there's how one looks on it. Now I just need to add a bunch of little green plugs all around it. Then alternating colors, I'm gonna go behind each one with the Christmas lights. Now I just need to add that highlight to each of them and here is the final result. I wasn't sure about this name, but I love how it turned out with the little Christmas lights everywhere. So cute. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whatever Squishmallow this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a holiday redesign. Oh, a mummy, okay. I'm thinking, what if we made it like a Christmas tree owl underneath it and these mummy parts we turn into like ribbons and garland and things like that. I'm kind of gonna draw inspiration from our tree with the ribbon. So I'm gonna start by making it green. Then I'm gonna start adding ribbons all around it. I'm gonna color each of those red and I do still think it's looking like a mummy. And I think it'd be fun to have like a little strand of pearls in between each one. I'm just adding little highlights and low lights to make them look like pearls. I'm gonna add little yellow circles to represent lights everywhere. And then using the airbrush tool, I'm gonna make like beams of light coming out. Okay, now I need to add the ears on for the owl and the little beak. Lastly, I do think it needs a star on top. And here's the final result. I love how it turned out. It definitely looks like a Christmas tree, but also still like a mummy. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whatever Squishmallow this lands on, I'm gonna give it a holiday redesign. Okay. And Cedar wanted to join us today, apparently. The little stripes all over him reminds me of like tights from an elf. 
like something like this. So I'm thinking I make him the colors of an elf and maybe put on an elf hat. And instead of horns, we add ears. So I'm gonna start by making him green and adding on the belly. Now I'm gonna add on a bunch of red stripes. Okay, that's looking really cute. Now I'm gonna add on the little puff ball on the top and make that white. And I'm gonna make that kind of like a little Santa hat. And I also wanna make that striped as well. I'm gonna add the elf ears on there and add a circle around the eye. He is still a monster, so I'm gonna add that mouth with the sharp teeth, and here is the final result. I do think it still has some fun elements from the monster, but overall does look like an elf, so I'm very satisfied with this one. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments.